Good morning. It, well, we had two messages are coming out quick here. This is the second or third time the death card has come up. Could be death to something, a relationship, or death and rebirth, or death to an old toxic uh, way of thinking. Uh, then we got a Queen of Wands here, fiery. Um, fire sign, Aries Leo, Sag, and a feminine energy if it's a man. And I don't mean that as feminine, you know what I mean? It's just, uh, uh, we all have that male and female side. Those popped out. I was going to do a reading really quick here for Aquarius. This is Aquarius reading. Okay. So, let's see. Someone's in their emotions with the moon card, cancer energy. Uh-oh. I'll call them right back. That's uh, from my daughter's home. Wow, 101 on the clock when that came through. All right, now I had... Uh, we got somebody watching you with the Page of Swords. Probably the person that's in their feelings here. Maybe hidden emotions. Something done in the dark. Call you right back, Jake. All right, clarify the death card for Aquarius. Clarify this death card. All right, let me tell you, I had a packet pop out. Let's see if I was supposed to take it, and only one flipped up on top of it. Yes, okay, so... On the death and rebirth, we got the star card. Aquarius coming out in your reading. This could be an actual person who's uh, coming to stardom or be a star. Or it's just wishes coming through. And, and the funny thing is, death and rebirth is like, you know, you're born naked. And the star card, she's naked. That's So it, I think you went through a death and rebirth here. Uh, there's a... Knight of Pentacles clarifying this Queen of Wands. So maybe you're, you, yeah, maybe the Queen of Wands um, could be, have Taurus Virgo Capricorn in there too. All right, then we got, for the Moon card, we got Public Recognition. Uh, judgment, like, not judgment, things being, uh, balanced and fair, and you getting your recognition, maybe if you're, if, if you got that star card, you're going to be recognized, maybe on your social media will get better, something like that, and this is eight of wands, is something happening quickly, it kind of was sideways, so maybe things are, um, and it's clarifying this person, this Gemini who's watching you, or, this this page of swords could be a, a project, an idea that somebody may have slowed down because this was sideways. But this is the one that popped up right. You got the four of wands. This is the soulmate card. So that's that could be something, celebration, good times that usually wishes coming true, 1111 card falling on the star card. Either this is a relationship, which... The Four of Wands is usually always a relationship because it's a soulmate. Okay, so clarify the King of Knight of Pentacles, I should say. They are popping out quick. Someone wants to give give you equally balance the scales out. This Knight of Pentacles holding a, a coin here. Clarify the wow. I mean, they're flying out. We got yes. So, the moon, here, got the moon card, something happened, but that's like recognition, maybe, on that, or for you, and injustice. So, someone's in their moon feelings about either you were blinded to something, or somebody made the wrong decision, or somebody has to make a decision. Clarify that sideways, eight of wands, holy crap. I can't, ooh, this one, this one wanted to get lost. It's in the heater thing. So let's see. Ha! Imagine that. That's not on purpose. The hermit. S somebody, you know, in, in healing mode, a Virgo, but it, it was like hidden, and that's what the hermit does. <laughs> so maybe, I don't know. 
We got Virgo energy. We got Aries Leo Sag energy. We got Taurus, Virgo Capricorn, Libra, Cancer, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Gemini. Gemini for sure. Okay. Clarify this four ones. Two came out. High Priestess. High Priestess here. Somebody already knows about this four of wands. This is probably you, Aquarius. Aquarius are usually uh, highly intuitive. Pisces and Aquarius. Um, but that, that doesn't have to be this High Priestess. could be somebody that you're giving this four of wands to. And then we got the Queen of Pentacles. Balancing the scale here. On, on top of the balancing the scale. This is a good reading. All right, for Aquarius, two of swords. Two of swords, please. Clarify two of swords. Please. Okay, we got a few that popped over upright. We got the Empress. That's probably your recognition. You're the Empress. We got the lovers, or no. This could be the two of you coming back together. And I say back together because of the death of rebirth. In the healing card. After healing, we got the lovers. Ooh, kind of swords, but this is in the past. You could have went into a death and rebirth after this ten of swords. Somebody could be in their, in their feelings about this. This is way in the past. It's also falling on the high priestess. So somebody tried to do ten of swords. Uh... In the back, slander something, a, a high priestess, which, or a hierophant, okay? The hierophant card is a, a marriage, divorce, Taurus card, big time Taurus card. Um, clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, so we, we could have somebody who, one's religious, one's spiritual, doesn't have to be that, or hopefully... With the soulmate card, you have a little bit of each, meaning you could have been brought up, you know, Catholic by your parents, but you just believe what you believe. You still believe in God. You just believe what you believe. You're you're you can, you're able to have your own belief system. You know what I mean? Like I stayed and overstayed in a marriage because of my Catholic religion. Uh, I was terrified to leave. I was told you're you know what I mean. That was years ago. So. But, all right, let me clarify the Empress here. Clarify the Empress. Who's the Empress here? Please, message on the Empress. <laughs> Who's the Empress? A Empress, a temperance angel. Somebody who knew how to balance and listen to uh, guidance from the angels here. After this injustice that could have catapulted you into being the empress. You could have worked on your emotions uh, with the guidance of your angels. I'm not sure why I'm getting that. I'm going to clarify the lovers now. Okay, we got a <laughs> nine, of, nine of pentacles when I clarify the lovers. Someone wants to give you the nine of pentacles or you have worked hard for this nine of pentacles. The success here. Red could be very significant. All right. I'm going to keep going. And because, uh, let me, any more messages? Whoa. All right. Let me see what popped out here. We got the Ace of Cups. We got the Ace of Cups. And I was going to quit. So there's also a lot of love here with that soulmate card. That's what this is uh, clarifying this. But to be honest, the Ace of Cups is falling on the Ten of Swords. So this could injustice could have been done to the both of you. But you're moving forward on a journey. Can't make this up together. Um, you do, you both have, you both. Well, this is falling on the Empress, Empress card, but I feel like you both guys could have or do have lots of options. And, and I don't mean like other people. Look at, look at the rainbows, job opportunities, uh, you know, a bunch of things now that now that you're going to be set free with this judgment card or whatever, released. You you guys are going to be able to do a lot of different things. Seven is a lucky card. 
This is from the divine. This is a lot of different options for you. Okay, yeah, there was a seven of swords here. That's probably why somebody's in their feelings. But this is at the bottom of the deck. This, well, this is clarifying the nine of uh, pentacles. So somebody could have tried to mess with your money. I'm getting, but that's way in the past. But again, we have sevens here uh, a few times. Now, clarifying the Ace of Cups, if I keep going, we got the Nine of Cups. That's a lot of love. Somebody wants to give you this cup of love for, for sure here. And <laughs> you guys are getting your justice. You are getting your justice. That justice card is falling on um, the moving out of turbulent waters, mo you know, moving forward together on a journey. And I say together because it's a six card. Six cards are about relationships, and we clearly have a couple here with another six. So, um, the lovers. All right? And, all right. Or, um, hold on, hold on. Yeah. All right, all right, never mind. I, the lovers is not a six. I... <laughs> <laughs> I could be backwards sometimes. It's a number four, which is also good luck, uh, divine. When you break it down to a two, that's a very divine number. Sevens, seven, eleven. Uh, you could be seeing, um, I see two, five, two quite a bit, but it's it's a powerful angel number about like keeping the faith and positivity. Somebody is definitely thinking about you heavily. Uh, but this is kind of saying time to rest because this is coming in time to rest and rejuvenate just like the death and the rebirth. And this is what I'm going to end with death and rebirth at the top of rebirth. <laughs> I'm talking too fast because these, these messages just, they come so fast. It gives you like, you pumps you up, um, starting out with the death and rebirth card, which is a 13, which is, uh, the Empress card is a three. Okay, so threes could be significant with that 13 popping up. 12.33 on the clock, not on the clock, clock, on the video clock. Okay, and uh, all right, so rest and rejuvenation, and there's no way I cannot show you this. The judgment, so that's twice this getting like the judgment or the recognition that you guys deserve with this four of wands, ace of cups, justice card. And, and I, uh, this is in the reverse to me, which is good because this is a, de a decision between, yeah, <laughs> slow down, Kel. This message I'm happy to give you because I almost stopped. Okay. When this is in the reverse, this is a pickle in the middle making a decision between two things sometimes, right? Um, when it's in the reverse, that means the decision's made. I don't know if that helps somebody. We got a queen of cups, very loving. And I did see a king of cups earlier here. That that would be a, um, a couple, you know, a couple. But doesn't I didn't pull it out. But I saw it, and I felt like I should have. So I'm just mentioning that. But we got definitely, clearly got a couple here. Three of Wands is another. Um, moving away, you guys, together. Number three. Um, the power of three. Travel. Looking out at what you accomplished. Wait a minute. Okay, so this is kind of strange. I think I explained in one other reading that I had to buy a new deck because I was missing a card. So I kept a couple, couple, I cannot speak couple. What the heck is a couple? A cubby? <laughs> um, I kept a few duplicates in the deck just to see what would happen. But then I pulled them out. Well, this one didn't come out. And this is the second time the Knight of Pentacles is out here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Loaded up with armor, ready to come in.
All right. I thought I was done, but this is a story. After the burdens and the battle, so you or your person could have had a lot, both could have had a lot of burdens on your back at this time, and that's why it needed the death and rebirth, and now we have an Ace of Pentacles. So we got an Ace of Pentacles, and there's the King of Cups. So we got a couple here, uh, loving people, two people that really love each other. This whole Seven of Swords and everything could have been uh, over this Three of Heartbreak, the, the Three of Swords. It could have all been somebody, you know, was messing with that or it needed a death and rebirth. Uh, just no more Nine of Swords. No more, you're not in your head anymore with this Nine of Swords. And if you are... One of you could be in this Nine of Swords over this Three of Swords. Look at all the goodness that you have, okay, Aquarius? Look at all the good cards you have. Major Arcana cards, aces coming from the Divine, the Temperance Angel. So this is might be a mindset. Get out of it somehow. Do something to get out of that. This is more Gemini energy. And there's the new beginning with the Fool card and the Sun Telling me that I am speaking the truth and this is coming to fruition here. Wow, this is a past person. This is a past. Oh my God, with the two of cups. Thank you, Lord. I love this. And the ace of wands. If I And I'm telling you. Oh my God, this is. These don't come out like this together. Unless it's. Okay. This is a celebration card here. That's how I'm going to end it. Celebration. Celebrating after tough times. Getting to, getting together for drinks. Uh, these people are dancing. So possibly going out dancing. Dressing up. The cups have gold on them. I mean, it looks like royalty. It looks like fun. Dancing. Just free. And I guess I'm going to pull you one of these or oracles. Because... I was guided to. So there's another Virgo healing. There's another healing, basically, card clarifying that this needed to be healed or somebody needed to heal. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being he healed at this very moment. So what I'm getting from that is already believe that it is healed and being taken care of by the higher ups because you have the temperance angels here so that's what you should do when you get in that moon oh we got the sun and the moon too in the same reading oh my gosh i never thought of that there you go things will be brought to the light oh this is a sacred union <laughs> this is a sacred union see this is a this is a divine union honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. And you know why? If you stayed together through all this, or even if you're not together and you're still friends, that, that's a sacred union. New beginnings. Not even beginnings. New beginning. A new adventure it waits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Aquarius, this was the best reading ever. I, um, I thank you guys for... Clicking on this video, I'd appreciate if you could give me a like, a thumbs up, if you resonate with it. And if you don't, that's okay. Hope I can help somebody. That's what it's all about. Hope I can pass the message for somebody because this, these messages helped me when I had nobody else before. Okay? That's how I turned to tarot because I didn't have anybody when I was in healing and nor did I trust to tell anybody what I was going through. I just, it was just things you didn't want to talk about, you know. But anyways, one friend of mine said to, to uh, listen to this, and I didn't think I was going to be reading them, but I can tell you that this guided me to then to heal myself through uh, natural Reiki, not even Reiki. I, I have the Reiki certificate, but I just do things that keep my vibe up, okay? And that's a good way to manifest. So 
it all came down from this for me. So I'm very grateful and hoping I could pass the message on to somebody else the way I was able to heal with uh, through tarot, through God, through faith. Hope this helps, guys.